the two-day business forum, which was primarily led by Inland Revenue and supported by MB, R9, uh, where we brought 40-odd business people and 40 government people together to explore the problems and the impediments of getting business and government to work better. Well, basically it was um, Dave Moskowitz's initiative who approached me just after the um, two-day IR workshop. And he said, let's do something you know, right now in good old um, startup weekend fashion. Three or four weeks later, we, we had a skunk works coming together of business and government in a safe place just to experiment and see how it would work. They kind of tried to, uh, played a little um, dirty trick on us because they only had one date available, which was like two weeks away. And we said, oh, you know, that's a bit too soon. We need to talk to everybody and get it approved and stuff. And said, no, nah, it's only this date or none. And, you know, we're going to do it with or without you anyway. Private enterprise moves pretty fast. And that's one of the things that government's going to have to come to terms with. That they do have an appetite to drive forward fast. I had no idea what a skunk work was and I just thought it was like just some quirky name for something. I know that Oliver had put me down as a participant but I didn't realise how full on it was going to be. I knew we'd be looking at maybe, you know, just looking at some data and seeing what we could make from data. I, I really wasn't expecting to kind of get elbows deep in actually working through a process, working through a business plan, actually going out and talking to businesses and interviewing businesses and doing surveys and things like that all across the space of one weekend in a really intense time period. I was hoping to say some great ideas to be built, some ideas to come up, some, some showcases that we can take back to some people within the government agencies to just demonstrate them what's possible. Um, if you work with the private sector developers who are used to, to doing these things, you know, if, if government publishes a new data set or creates a new service, a smart developer can hook into an API within a matter of probably two hours um, and then start focusing on the real value add for, for an hour. Arlene White is a Deputy Commissioner of Inland Revenue. Dave invited Arlene, Arlene accepted and said she'd love to come along and see uh, what ideas we'd come up with and what problems, what the problems were that we discovered. So Arlene White from IR came in and we pitched her ideas to her and um, we talked to her a little bit about what we'd, what we'd done and um, our idea and how we thought it might kind of pan out in the future. What was really interesting to talk to Arlene about was um, the fact that we spent nearly mm, all of Saturday just looking for the data sets. We had this great idea we had a theory of how it would be built and how it would work. We had a good idea of how it would be designed. We had a good idea of the component parts, but we just couldn't find the information to make it work. One of the learnings that we um, can share now after the weekend is that there's not enough data and APIs out there. We would have loved to use some more. Some are there, but very well hidden, so it's really hard to, to get an understanding and um, help with the ideas creation in the first place. For some APIs and, and data sets, the um, terms and conditions are just preventing certain uses. We do need to revise how we publish information and how we enable business to make use of our data and transactions. important things from the weekend was how you know you can bring business and government and the private sector together and there was so much energy and there was so much buzz and nothing bad happened like working that way nothing bad happened people gave up their own private time uh, it was it was a weekend's event um, people weren't being paid to, to, to be there and look the the enthusiasm was infectious we we did a, a straw poll put up your hands if you would be um, if you'd like to be involved again and every person put their hand up it was energizing it was exciting and it's you know really for the new zealand good one of the quotes at the end of the weekend was you know if you took a photo of the whole group and you said you know, Mark who he thinks from government and Mark who he thinks from the private sector. You couldn't have done it. There was no kind of like us and them, like everybody came together and just worked together. It was great. People do want to work together. They do like to be collaborative. They do want to be, you know, all together in a tent playing. And that was a really, really nice experience. If you get the right people in the room from government, who have been given the ability to talk about their systems and, uh, and have that knowledge, they are very happy to share that with business and have business take advantage of it. The key thing for me was um, seeing that government employees 
can actually be really fast, competitive and innovative, achieving a lot in a very short time frame if you put them in the right environment.